Another murder by the horrid beast. <sighs> Milton the Payrak Payron falls victim to his own cowardice. The exhibition of the Reginald Aubrey Monument will remain closed until further notice. Closed? What is the point? Get it. Ah. May you keep it at the moment. Yeah, the whole place is up, botched and wanked. Ah! Me, oh my! A witch fellow! Go, go! Keep shenanigan. I can't see. So eager are you. The mill, then. We shall discuss the assault inside. prepared a plan. Walk me through it. We have two objectives. To find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep, restored not long past by the elderly knight of the castle, Roderick. We mean to strike here, through the main gate, then secure the area in front of the keep by storm. How many men defend Untine, you know? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. They are no army, but they could number several dozen. Also, Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. About them we know very little. Sintrian's men, gotta be. Ran into a few in town. They tried to kill me. Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders, keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way, find the women, make sure they come to no harm. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk. But I sense you will handle it well. Let us go.
So it begins. Quick! We grab Roderick's horses and we bolt. We won't vault far if the boys out front don't hold. Not so fast. Little change of plans. Kill him! Damn it! Your lucky day. Margaret's 
sent him to get the horses. He's looking to flee. Can't let him. I see no two cools along the road. They must not be guarding it. Brother, it was right. We can't go leave. We'll manage. Hurry Someone with those here. crates. They breached the but back wall. careful. Come on. If kill him. Surround him. Surround and kill. I... I did no wrong! Nah, kept the wrong damn company. Centrian's men, where are they? Uh, I... knew... shouldn't have let them under my roof. Where's the hostage, the woman? What? What, what do you mean? I... know nothing about a hostage. Must... Must be the handiwork of my guests. Where are they now? In. in the keep, ready in their escape. There's someone with them? Woman named Siana? Of. of course. She. she convinced me to let them in. And a whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack. packing. We were to leave together and. Old fool! I'd have done anything for her. Where is she? In the keep too? It, yes. Her chamber is in the tower, the top floor. What? What will become of me? it against the wound should staunch the bleeding i i thank you what is happening too many there are too many you cannot this one kill the shit like that not we did it not too late to surrender I you the shit Giving you one last chance. Yield. The Ted Hall has got us into this. Kill him! Attack!
need to get into the keep. They shall pay for everything. Use our help. So, Witcher, this is no time to explain. Where is Renner? Expect to answer a lot of questions inside. Let us go then. Never let them hurt me. I just waited for you to come. I... I didn't know where to look. They threatened to kill you. I... Forgive me. I failed you. Now we need only find Anna Henrietta's sister. Where should we look? Do you know? Mm-hmm. Ran into Roderick, Duntine's lord. Told me where I'd find Siana. Then speak and let's grab her. Time is short. Said she was in a room in the tower. Very one we're in right now. Which, incidentally, looks nothing like a prison cell. And just so happens there's a carafe full of wine here. Bet it's stolen Saint Real. What's your point? Stop playing dumb. I know everything. Your plan, that this was part of it. Witcher, what is this? Sorry, Dedlaff. You've been had. My friend, please. You must listen to what Geralt has to say. Rena's not her real name. This is Siana, and Siana is sister to Anna Henrietta, the Duchess of Toussaint. What? What nonsense is this? Siana was banished as a child, but it seems she trekked back here recently, moved into Duntine, and ran a Vandergild out of here. Sent a man called the Centrian to Beauclair to steal some wine for her. Wine reserved for the Ducal family. Centrian led us to her. Caught him later stealing a jewel Sian had gotten from her father as a child. <clears throat> Sorry, Dedloff. She used you. Part of her plan. to the ground. This, I promise you. You've three days. I shall be waiting. He just fly off? 
He did not wish to act rashly. He's gone to soothe his nerves. Think he'll do it? Make good on his threat? I cannot say. He can be unpredictable when fury consumes him. I shall go to him. Come again? After what he just... You don't know Detlaf like I do. If I don't do as he says, he truly will destroy the city. He's more than capable of it. Conscience gets to you now? Better... Uh, better late than never, right? Well, it truly does seem the best option. Your Grace, we must proceed with caution. Guardsmen saw vampires here. They could still be about. Vampires or no vampires, my sister is here. Find her. Your Grace, that... Sianna, it's true. It's you. Sister, dear, what have you gotten yourself into? So concerned, I'm surprised. Is there an ounce of truth to it? You... You feel resentment. I understand. But I promise, promise we shall work through all the unfortunate matters of the past. We will discuss them later. Captain, escort Sianna to the palace. I shall meet with her as soon as we return. As you wish, Your Grace. And you, Witcher. You have my thanks. I cannot believe my sister was so near the whole time. Roderick of Duntine shall answer for treason and blackmail. Roderick got duped and used, just like the vampire. Apropos, were you able to establish who kidnapped his beloved? We've discovered... Siana blackmailed the vampire, ordered him to kill those men. What? What nonsense is this? She is his missing lover, staged her own abduction to force him to do her bidding. He was a tool. Whole scheme was Siana's. She was behind it. You're mistaken. You must be. This cannot be true. Your Grace, I know this vampire. What? You know him? Who is he? Detlaf. The same who so recently sat at my table and told me of Nazar. Is there anything else you've neglected to mention? A dragon living beneath Mount Gorgon, perhaps? Is anyone else here a vampire? Where is he now? Waiting for Siana. If she doesn't show up to meet him by an appointed time, he'll destroy Beauclair. He dares threaten us? Your Grace, we have three days to bring him Siana and- Not a word. You have three days to bring me his head. No more secrets. No more helping vampires. I want what I'm paying for. The head of the beast. Do you think her grace's nerves have been calmed? But rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially when forgets. Yes, well, even I must admit Dead Love's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Are you upset? Why would I be? Hmm, let's see. You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. What can I say? It happens at times. Especially likely to when the monster I'm chasing can turn into fog. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? <sighs> Depends. Peasants cuss me out. 
Merchants demand I refund their deposit, whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. And runes? Usually threaten me with the gallows. A most illustrious grace awaits the gentleman. Your grace, the population demands she be punished. Siona's committed terrible crimes, spilt so much blood. Another they... word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. Yours. I repeat for the last time, Siana is responsible for the death of many, true. But she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison, pitchforks and torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but... My patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? Don't know. I lost his trail. Is this all you have to say? I respect your grace. All I can say is the truth. Ah. Times I hunt foxes. Do you know how it works? The ducal huntsman releases the hounds, they catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the batu to it. All within an hour. You, Witcher, have had a week. The aid of my most excellent knights. Yet, you have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. Allow me to point out certain subtle but essential differences between a higher vampire and a fox, or game in general. Truly, like the ones between a pathetic quip and a treasonous offense. Watch your words, Witcher. But to the matter at hand, have you managed to establish anything? Your Grace, it seems Siana tricked Detlaf, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... Your Grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! Vampires! Oh, they protect the city! Captain de la Tour defends the square near the pole landing, but so many lives lost! Damn it. It's war this Detlef wants. It's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer and you... Get her out of here.
lost your nerve.
Siana failed to appear as summoned. And there, Detlef was not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detlef out. A way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I put it? Do forgive me, and I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis, another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detlef out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detlef's demand and liberate his beloved Siana. Think Detlef still believes Siana's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. And he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Detlef? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Detlef is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Mm. So say I agree to this, because I might. Still no chance Anna Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog. Keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see. I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. The meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour, ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme. Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. I trust I've dispelled your doubts then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. How would I go about luring Detlef out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen, ancient and powerful vampires. One of the oldest and strongest. Mm -hmm. And? Tucson is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detlef will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlef? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is... Yeah, figured it out. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the unseen elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. Hmm, so I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer, or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlef? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlef included. Regis, don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlef. Who'll you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me. What is it you intend to do? Crazy as the plan seems, I'll do it. I'll ask Damien about Siana. You won't make me beg. I knew you wouldn't. Slow down. Not promising a thing. Just want to get a feel for the situation to start with. Coming with? Of course. Many hands make light work. Hurry. 
Damien could be in danger. Or dead. Do you think so? He seemed battle-hardened. More than a few scraps of his belt. Against humans, not monsters. Sent. It's Damien's blood. He was wounded. Let's go. Eric ain't put it in the street. Pointless. That's an obstacle to a vampire. They didn't know. I didn't get a chance to prepare them. Fell on his face. Struck in the back. Tried to run. They must have realized they could not hold this position. But they found a corner to hide in. Maybe anyone to talk to if not.
lost body. blood. Lots of it. Guillaume, I'm drying might say, for numerous wounds. Must have fought a tough battle before he died. Must be in the bank. Barricaded themselves inside. The vampire. Apologies, Garrett. Come on. Come on. Let's sit down. Need to look around. Proved useless. Claws sliced through steel like through butter. We must hurry. Each moment's delay means another death. They broke formation. Ran. That's it. It's Damien's blood. He was wounded. Let's go. Barricade <laughs> put up in the street. Pointless. That's not. Fell on his face. Struck in the back. Tried to run. They must have realized that they could hold this position. Hope they found a corner to hide in. We have talked to if not.
exhausting mud. mud. Lots of it. Guillaume, Andre, you might say. Numerous wounds. Must have fought a tough battle before he died. inside. See, the harlot's brood came close to slaughtering you as well. Need to withdraw. You and your men. Now. My duty lies with the city. Won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter. Damien, conversation back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again. Your men don't stand a chance. to the wounded and prepare to march out doing the right thing now listen close silver that's what you want to use against vampires your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can churn it out in gallons then coat your blades with it keep an eye out for alps and bruxe the shapely ones resemble women they're one moment gone the next bombs containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. Got a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Sienna. You know the Duchess's decision. Sienna awaits her trial. In custody. We know it, but we do not agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Folk are dying. Many more will, because of one. If her grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. And ours will follow right after it. Yet still we are prepared to take the risk. I fear we waste our time here. Come, Geralt. Wait. When... When last I saw Sienna, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? So what, Duchess locked Sienna up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. And you've our gratitude. You helped us a great deal. I helped Beauclair. At least I hope I did. Let's go, Regis. Here, the playroom's beyond this door.
Locked. Of course. Regis. Rather not have a fist fight with his door. Would you mind? Thanks. At your service. Hmm. Utter silence. No one here. We should look around at least. Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Rietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here, a specialist in illusions, which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables, and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but his grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt, then, that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so. Though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Blood is damned or cursed. What's accuser? In the melodious tongue of our non too friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. Mm, really? 
realize this might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there, and isolated. We must see. Where's that book? <laughs> 